restoration process begin? I've got a bucket filled with water and cleaning solution. And a rag. Somebody scratched egg up here on the side. No doubt in reference to elemental gimmick gear on the Sega Dreamcast. Oh wait, no, it says legs. No doubt a reference to the awesome ZZ Top song. The preliminary round of cleaning is done, obviously I'm going to have to attack this thing with a magic eraser and some goo gun later, but now it's time to open up the Neo Geo and see what we have inside. Maybe a family of raccoons who are Neo Geo experts. Wouldn't that be something? This is uh, one of the rare times that any of you will ever see me actually using a tool. I'm not very handy. Alright, I'm gonna hold this in case something jumps out at me and shank it. Oh, shit, that's dusty. Anything living in there? Hello? Wake up and leave. No, it's just dirty. Annoyingly, I forgot to bring a vacuum today, so I guess I'll do that tomorrow. But there's the innards. And uh, let's open this up from the other side and see what we've got. Now this is one of my favorite features, the giant security bar over the door. Where was this thing originally? Long Beach or something. All right. There's the counter. Count them. All right. That needs to be cleaned before I do anything. And then there's the actual or slot arcade machine stuff. Taking out the board, I had a stripped ground wire, but I'll fix that later. Unplugged everything, I think. Nope, there's one wire left. We'll get that in a second. Pop that out. Here we go. Neo Geo four slot MVS arcade thing. Now I gotta get that stripped screw out of there. So, that's what it looks like. And it's dirty. So, as of this recording, I'm not entirely sure what my next step will be, but a big thank you to all of you who responded to the original video, who gave me some good suggestions and stuff to look up online. Many of you suggested replacing the battery. I'm actually in the process of doing that, but also many people said to replace the RAM, and I'm not entirely sure how to do that. So I may try that, I might just send it to someone, or I may end up having to buy another one on eBay and install that. I don't know yet, but it's an adventure, and we're all in it together, except I'm the one getting dusty. Seriously, there's like 20 some years of dust on this thing. To be continued, and once again, a big thanks to all of you watching and for those of you that sent emails and comments. Offering suggestions, my favorite of which is to fix the RAM error by driving a Dodge Ram truck into it. Something I might actually be able to do. How do you get this thing off? What do you do? Open. Open sesame. Maybe I should have thought of that beforehand. <laughs>